Congratulations on being among the country's top spellers. Ozonous. Meaning? May I have the definition? Usage in the sentence. Origin. Your word to spell to stay in the game. That is absolutely correct. Absolutely spot on. We do have today's winner. tennis yesterday and something struck me. Why is zero points called love of all things? Well, one theory claims that the term comes from the French word leuf, meaning the egg, which perfectly describes the shape of the number zero. This is similar to the term going out on a duck in cricket, originating from the round shape of a duck's egg. However, interestingly, the Oxford English Dictionary actually disagrees with this theory. It suggests that the term love in tennis really does mean love, because if you're a scoreless player, the only thing keeping you on court is love of the game. Now that's real sportsman spirit. And in celebration of such sportsmen and their love for games, I offer you a spirited welcome to the fourth and last semi-final of Classmates Bell B Season 8, India's largest spelling competition presented by Classmate, one of India's leading stationery brands powered by the Times of India. This is an initiative by Radio Mirti. The theme for the competition this season is every child is unique and so is every word. Classmate endeavours to recognise, nurture and celebrate the uniqueness of every child with an equally unique and world-class range of stationary products such as notebooks, pens, pencils, math instruments and art stationery. And now, let's say hello to our word wonderkinds for the day. Let's welcome Rishi Anand Nambiar from Gear Innovative School in Bengaluru. Ananya G from Sri Kumaran Children's Home, CBSC Bengaluru. Akash Om Trivedi from Resonance BSN Academy, Kota. And Rinal Koteri from Gitanjali Devshala in Hyderabad. Welcome, celebrities. Congratulations on being among the country's top spellers, selected from among 3 lakh students from more than 950 schools across 30 cities. This season, Classmate and Radio Mirchi began their hunt for India's ace speller with a massive on-ground school contact program that extended over radio, television and online media, including Facebook, YouTube, a dedicated website and a special mobile app. Only the finest spellers made it through. This season, we also have something for all the spelling whizzes watching this show at home. If you think you have what it takes to beat the country's top 16 spellers, download the Classmate Spellby mobile app from Google Store or iTunes for free and play this episode of the competition live on your phone to win some spelltastic prizes. Like always, we've given our spellers the option to ask for a little help during the first two rounds with the Classmate Connect option. So if in round one or round two you're in any doubt, you can ask me. I will then connect you with our classmates who will have 30 seconds to confer and spell out the word for you. You can then choose to accept or reject that spelling. The classmates today are stars of previous Spell B competitions. The runner-up of last year's Spell B, Mukun Chaudhary from Krishna Public School in Raipur. <laughs> National finalist in season six, Esther David from the Cathedral and John Connon School in Mumbai. And winner of Classmates Spell B Season 5, Vashwati Das from Gurukul Grammar Senior Secondary School in Guwahati. Contestants, I hope you're ready to spell your best. The winner of this semi-final gets a cash prize of 50,000 rupees courtesy classmate, a beautiful trophy and a place in the final round of Classmates Spell B Season 8. So let's find our winner. Let's get buzzing. So we're all set to start our last semi-final. We'll begin with round one. I'll briefly recap the rules of round one for you. I will ask each of you to spell four words, each worth 10 points. You can, of course, ask me for clues, the definition of the word, usage in a sentence, part of speech, or language of origin. The top three scorers of round one will go through to round two, so there will be an elimination. In the event of a tie, the speller or spellers who have not used their classmate connect option will automatically go through to round two. If we do not have a clear decision, then we will have to have a tie-breaking round on the buzzer. Good luck to all four of you. And now, without any further ado, let's begin round one. And let's welcome to the podium our first contestant from Gear Innovative International School in Bengaluru. Let's welcome Rishi. My hobbies are reading, 
reading and reading. My talents are reading really fast and solving massive puzzles. My favorite word is S U P E R C A D O C I O U S, pronounced supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, which means wonderful or amazing. You were here last year. Yes, I was. Last year you were our youngest contestant, and this year you are still our youngest contestant. Well, that's surprising. <laughs> that's surprising. <laughs> Who's here with you? My father. Your father is here. Hello, Hello, sir. Did you prepare with your father? Not at all. It is between him and his mom. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> all the very best to you, Rishi. Shall we begin round one? Yes. You know how this works. You've done it before. Four words to spell. Each worth ten points. Your first word in round one is grouse. Grouse. That is correct. Meaning? A complaint. Sentence. My grouse with the man next door is not that he's a bathroom singer, but that he sings in the bathroom next to mine. G R O U S E. That is absolutely correct. You were right. Well done. You're off to a good start. Ten points to your score. We move now to your second word, also for ten points. That word is bandying, meaning passing on or discussing in a casual or uninformed way. I'm going for a B A N D. Y I N G. You took your time, but you're right. The fact that you're hesitant is making me feel very nervous for you, <laughs> but you're doing very well. If you spell this word correctly, you will have 30 points. That word is wanderu, meaning a leaf monkey or langur in Sri Lanka. Uh, w a n d e r o o. That is absolutely correct. Well done. <laughs> Did you know this animal? You did. Yes. Well done. If you spell this fourth word correctly, Rishi, you will have a perfect score at the end of round one. Okay. That word is dulcet, meaning referring especially to sound, meaning sweet and soothing. D u l c e t. Absolutely spot on. Very very well done, Rishi. I'm so pleased to tell you, at the end of round one, you have a perfect score of 40 points. Very well played. Rishi has done very well. He has a perfect score of 40 points. It's time now to welcome our second contestant. Let's welcome to the podium Ananya from Shri Kumaran Children's Home, CBSC in Bengaluru. I simply love spellings because I have a deep love for the English language and I love to read. Also I find word etymology is quite interesting and they can give you a wide perspective on things. I prepared myself for this competition using dictionaries and online word lists and games. Hi Ananya. Hello ma'am. So it's strange today because normally the girls outnumber the boys. Yes. But this semi-final is a little bit different. Who's here with you today? My mother is here. So you've got some girl power in the corner supporting you. <laughs> All the best to you. Thank you. We'll begin round one. Your first word for ten points is ozonous. May I have the uh, definition of the nature of or containing ozone? Ozonous. That is correct. O Z O N O U S. Ozonous. Correct. Well done. <laughs> Your second word now, also for ten points, is colonnade. Uh, may I have the definition? A row of evenly spaced columns supporting a roof or arches. C O L O N N A D E. Colonnade. Absolutely right. Well done. You're doing very well. Your third word to take your total to 30 points is Chechen. May I have the definition? A member of the people inhabiting Chechnya. C H E C H E N Chechen. You're absolutely right, Ananya. <laughs> Ananya, if you spell this word correctly, you will also have a perfect score at the end of round one. Your word to spell is Raymond. May I have the definition? 
इट मीन्स क्लोदिंग आर ए वाई एम ओ एन टी आई मिफे दैट इन करेक्ट द एक्यूरेट स्पेलिंग ऑफ रेमेंट इज आर ए आई एम ई एन टी बट नो मैटर अनन्या एट द एंड ऑफ राउंड वन यू हैव अ वेरी सॉलिड स्कोर ऑफ थर्टी पॉइंट वेल प्ले It's time for a break but before that here's a question for all you screen agers out there. We all know what a doppelganger is, your exact duplicate. However, in this age of texting and surfing, what is a Google ganger? Don't google the answer, think about it. We'll be right back after a break. You're watching Classmates Bell B season 8 powered by The Times of India. Classmates Bell B season 8 presented by Classmates powered by the Times of India this is an initiative by Radio Mirchi Before the break I'd asked you what a Google ganger is Well similar to a doppelganger a Google ganger is an individual with the same name as yours and whose online records are mixed up with yours which shows up only when you google yourself I wonder how many Google gangers I have out there and exactly what they're up to Before I start googling away let's get back to round 1 Let's welcome to the podium now our third contestant Akash from Resonance BSN Academy in Kota. English is a very funny language. The thing I am interested in English is that it has some words which have different pronunciation and different spelling. So it make the language quite interesting. I am very happy that I have been selected in classmate spell be top 16. I I am very happy that I have made around 3 lakh student and I think I will do my